We're going to have Ed shave and we're going to use the Phoenix Shaving Dreamscape Scuttle to build a lather. Coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MarkWithGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time. I love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave, from head shaves to face shaves to shaving gear. Really, thanks so much for coming by and just sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. We are going to be doing a head shave, and I'm going to be whipping up the lather using the Dreamscape Scuttle from Phoenix Shaving. I'm also going to be using uh, my Silver Tip Badger Shaving Brush. Before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos. And also, please consider subscribing. Well, as I mentioned, we're going to be using my Silver Tip Badger brush to whip up a beautifully warm lather in the Phoenix Shaving Dreamscape Scuttle. This holds 18 ounces of hot water. It's 5 inches in diameter with a 3 inch depth. It has these wonderful, rounded, soft, yet very efficient uh, verts that uh, are, are not uh, indented, they rise up a little bit so they provide some nice friction for the uh, nice friction and resistance for the brush to uh, it aids in building that lather. So uh, that's a really a nice nice feature but they're nice and rounded and smooth so they won't damage a, a nice fine brush like this silver tip badger that I received from viewer Simon Hazanoff. Thank you again, Simon. Really do appreciate it. So we're gonna use we're gonna we're gonna use the scut we're gonna use this scuttle <laughs> and this brush. We're also gonna use uh, Club Guy from Phoenix Shaving. Boy, I absolutely love this scent. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, and we're gonna finish it off obviously with the Club Guy. Balm and the aftershave and cologne. Before we get to that step, we're going to be using uh, the Phoenix Shave Gallon Block with the uh, no slip grip and the dry dock system. And my razor is going to be the Rockwell 6S with the number three plate. Now they recommend the number three plate. They find that it's very, very good for head shaves. It provides the perfect balance for most head shavers between uh, a mild quality yet an efficient quality. So we're going to use the Rockwell 6S uh, on the number three plate. There's the number three plate right there. All right. When it's facing, when it's facing out like that with the handle attached. Okay. Uh, let me show that to you again. When it's facing out, with, when the handle's attached, that way you know what plate you're using. So it's number three on this side. It's number three on this side. And it's number one on this side. So we're going to use number three. Uh, my blade is going to be a Wizomet Super Iridium razor blade. I haven't used these in a while. These are terrific. They're great. They're sharp. They're efficient. They have this wonderful sharp smoothness to them. There is this beautiful, sharp, soft quality. I, I like them a lot. This is going to pair up very, very well with the... Uh, Rockwell 6S. Get this blade right here. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and just load the razor right now. Here's my cap right here. Okay. And then here is my number three plate. Okay. There's the number three plate right there. So I'm going to set that right there like that. So you can see it's the number three plate. Gonna attach the handle. There we go. Oh boy, that's that's terrific. Uh, stainless steel, stainless steel razor, and the balance and the alignment on this are very very good. The end tabs, just you can just just feel them, but they're not going to get in the way at all. Uh, terrific knurling on this handle too. It gives a really provides a nice nice grip. Really a terrific terrific razor. Uh, thank you, Jim from Northfield. Uh, we are going to put some hot water in the scuttle. 
We're going to let it sit there for the equivalent of a nice hot shower. Then we're going to come back, we're going to dump it out, and then we're going to fill the inner chamber with some hot water again, put the cork in, and then start building a lather. So uh, I'm going to do that right now, and when I get back, we're also going to soak the brush. And when I get back, uh, we're going to have this camera set up so you can see me build a lather with the Dreamscape scope. Uh, okay, so uh, hang in there with me. Uh, we'll get to it in just a little bit. Okay, we're ready to build a lather here. Forgot to mention that I did put some hot water on top of the puck to kind of get things going. And we're going to do a brush load. Okay, we're not going to scoop, we're going to do a brush load. So let me just dump some of that there into the uh, in the sink. Let me get my brush here. Here's my brush. I you can see that. Here it is right here. We're going to go ahead and just load this like this. I'm going to get a good, good brush load. Boy, that's a beautiful scent. Man, I love that scent. Okay. Okay, I think that's I think that's got it. That's that's a good brush load. Okay. So here we are. We're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna study it with the handle here, and we're just gonna go ahead and start to build this ladder. And if I need a little more, if I need a little more water, I can just dip the tips of the uh, of the brush in there, and then we'll just get this going here. Wow! Look at that lather start to just look at that. Look at that. Look at that. My gosh. <laughs> That's marvelous. I did, and I didn't even dip the brush in. I think the uh, the badger, the silver tip badger that I had soaking in the sink while this was warming up, just absorbed a nice amount of water to where, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Lather. Look at that. I think, my gosh, I think we're ready to go. Look at look at how fast that was. Oh my goodness. Now the nice thing about this scuttle is, is that when you put the brush back in, it's deep enough to where it stands up where it won't tip over. All right, so let me rinse off my hand here and let's get this like camera back that. up. I think, I, I think that'll work. All right, well, I'm gonna wet the head and we're gonna get to the shave. I am gonna use the Cube 2.0. I'm not going to rinse it off. I'm just going to work it in there and kind of use that as a base. So, because I already had a hot shower prior to shooting this video. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and use this cube as kind of a pre-shave pre base. And uh, I'm going to get to the shave. So, let's wet the head and let's get to the shave. All right, if I didn't mention it before, I have about three days, three and a half days worth of growth here. So this is going to be a really, really good test run of the, uh, uh, get the cube there. It's going to be a really, really good test run for this badger brush. It's already passed with flying colors with the amount of lather it made. Wow, that was absolutely fantastic. Rinse off my hands here a little bit. All right, here we go. We're just going to paint this on. Look at that. That's. Let's just get some more of this here and just paint it on. Oh man, that's that is a lot of lather. Mm. 
and just a little more here. Boy, I got a nice, <laughs> a nice thick carpet of lather up there. That is really something. I'm scraping this off. Let me see if I can show you without putting this in peril. I'm just scraping that off there a little bit on the edges to get some of that lather out of the knot so I can put it back on the tips like that. Put it back on the tips so I can lay it on there and just kind of paint it on there. Look at that. Now, because I have more hair growth than I ordinarily would do, I try to do a head shave every other day. I waited an extra day or so. You know, it's going to take a little more to, you know, cover that hair up and, uh, you know, give me some good protection. Uh, if uh, I was, say, uh, shaving uh, like this, you know, like I say, every other day, there wouldn't be as much there. And I think the lather would apply a little more uh, smoothly. A little more evenly, but that hair is there. Well, that's the goal. We want to get rid of the hair. Okay, time to heat up the razor under some hot, 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 hot water. All right. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, that is nice. Oh, my gosh. That three plate is fantastic. And it is just taking care of this hair like no one's business. Now, if you notice the uh, the amount of hair I had there in the uh, the opening, the introductory segment of this video, you can see just from this swath right here how how much has been shaved off. Boy, this three plate is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Now the second round of lather will go on a little more easily because that hair has been removed. And we're just going to, like with all head shaves, I'll probably do two passes and a touch-up. Boy, this, this Rockwell three-plate for a head shave is marvelous. If you are looking for a razor that will uh, give you a nice head shave, I recommend the Rockwell with the number three plate. It's marvelous. It really is marvelous. It really provides a good, good, smooth, efficient shave, head shave. Boy, that's, that's fantastic. Wow, look at that. That's, that's marvelous. I'm going to throw a little bit of water on my head, and then we're going to relather. Okay, just a little bit. All right, and I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to add, I'm going to dip the tips in a little bit and I'm just going to, just going to add a little more water here so I can kind of bring that ladder back up. And I'll show you that as soon as it, uh, as soon as I'm done. I want to hold it with both hands because I don't want it to slip out of my hands. But look, but look, but look, but look, but look how much, look how much I have again. Look, I mean, it's incredible. Yeah, that's kind of slick. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful, Mark. Look, look at that. Yeah, now this is, this is applying a lot more easily because I have less friction from the, from that hair growth. Oh, man. That's marvelous. Boy, this is this is a this is this has been a great great head shave. Look at that. And all I'm doing is just laying it on like this, just laying it on. I mean, the <laughs> the the, the ah, wow. Just doing a brush load like that and then just Look, amazing. I like to put a little more on top here because uh, the, the skin gets a little thinner. 
I'm just going to lay that on the back there also. Look, oh my God, that's, I know it's kind of, look at that. It might appear a little uneven here and there, but there is some really, ah, here, look. Let me show you. I'll try to show you again here. Look how much I have there yet, and on the brush. Phenomenal. Just phenomenal. All right. Let me put a little more. Let me put a little more right there. All right. Now, that's great. That's. <laughs> All righty. Here we go. We're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go from back to front. I'm going to make sure I get behind the ear there. I think this is probably one of my favorite passes to do when I do a head shave going from back to front. It cleans everything up nicely. Get behind that ear there. Again, it's a little thinner on top. My skin is a little thinner on top, so I have to be careful. But you know what? I don't have to be overly careful with the Rockwell as I am with uh, some other razors. This really does provide a wonderful, wonderful head shape. Now, obviously, your mileage may vary, but uh, for me, it's great. All right. Okay, let me throw a little more water up there, and we're going to do some touch-up. Okay. All right. Now, with my head shaves, you know, in going through this, I usually miss a little bit here, a little bit here. What I like to do is I like to get my brush, and I like to pull that lather off, throw it in my hand like that, and then actually move it around to those areas that I missed to give me some protection kind of on the go. so that I can so that I can hit those areas that I need to touch up, want to get a little close, want to get a little closer, shave a little more closely, get a little more smooth. Okay. Yeah, get, oh boy, it got behind the ears nicely. It really did. A little bit there. Just rub that in there like that. Get that little bit here. Okay. The thing that is also nice is that the knurling on this hand that I mentioned at the beginning really does provide a nice grip because my hands are slick. And you can see how slick they are by how carefully I held that scuttle up. Didn't want to slip, <laughs> didn't want it to slip out of my hands and crash to the sink or the floor. Yeah, that's, that's, this is great. Man, and the CK6 provides a lot of slickness. Even, even this much here, all right? This, this much here is giving me a great deal of slickness and it's, I love this club guy scent. If you like uh, Pinot Clubman, Clubman Pinot, if you like that scent, you're going to love club guy. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, you know what, that's got it. That is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful smooth Head shave. That's wonderful. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to drain my sink because the water's kind of high. 
and we're going to rinse off. I'm going to do my two final rinses here. I'm going to do uh, one warm and one cold. It's going to be a while in rinsing it off, so hang in there with me. I appreciate your patience. Uh, here's my warm water rinse. Okay, that got, that got the majority of the slickness. It really did. I'm flipping it to the cold water side. I'm going to throw some cold water up there to close the pores. Okay, so here's my cold water rinse. Oh, that's marvelous. That's fantastic. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Wow. These head shaves with the safety razor by far are the best way. Uh, I get the best result with, uh, with these head shaves and a safety razor, especially with this amount of hair growth that I've removed. Um, cartridge razors are fine. And some of the other things that I've used are fine. But this gives me the smoothest, closest result. And it lasts, lasts a little longer. So if I do go an extra day and I need to shave, um, you know, it, it doesn't seem to grow back as fast or as quickly uh, as, as if I were, uh, as when I use a, a cartridge razor. That's just kind of the way I look at it. Kind of a, just my experience. Um, all right, here is my Allen block. I'm gonna run this under some cold water and we're gonna run it over the head to see how much feedback we get. If we uh, have any zinging, any stinging, that sort of thing. So that's nice. There's no, absolutely no stinging at all. Maybe a few zings here and there, but nah, I don't even think that's, I don't even think that's any zinging there. I think that's bracing from the elbow block, to be perfectly honest with you. That's terrific. That's marvelous. That is really, really marvelous. Here's the dry dock system right here. We're going to just set that in there like that. Let the air in the room dry that out the rest of the way. You saw how much <laughs> lather I had on the brush. I pulled a lot out. Uh, it's about all that's left there, but uh, a lot of, I mean, I, I used every bit of it. I, I used, here, I'll show you. Let me make sure I dry my hands off here. I used every bit of lather for this shave. Every bit. See that? I mean, right there. I used every bit. And uh, a very, 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 very satisfying head shave. Let me finish it off with some uh, with some Club Guy aftershave balm. About that much there. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's great. And I will put just a little bit of aftershave on just for scent purposes. I know a viewer was saying that he does it this way. He likes to put the balm on first and then the aftershave afterwards rather than the other way around. So I'm going to try it that way. Just putting the balm on first and then the aftershave afterwards. So here it is right here. It has the older, more uh, established uh, restrictor built into the bottle. Okay. Great shave. Wow, <laughs> that was great. You know, I'm a face latherer. I like to do, uh, like to build a lather with uh, on my face. And for head shaves, you see me move the brush up there and build a lather there. But boy, this is a nice change just to paint it on like that. And uh, this brush generated so much 
lather. I found myself scraping it off. Uh, you know, it had nice flow through and, and scraping it off the edge of the, uh, the scuttle. Just, you know, scraping it this way like this and then, you know, and getting that and then painting it on. Ah, it's fantastic. And the scuttle, it provided a warm lather too, which was really, really nice. And if it wasn't warm, uh, you probably would have seen me react from the, the coolness of it. But it was nice and warm. It didn't, uh, it's just nice and warm and welcoming. When it's, when it's cooler, you get that little bit of a jolt, especially on the thinner areas up above. Uh, but uh, no, it was nice and warm throughout. It did a great job. Uh, the, those raised vents uh, really did a wonderful job in providing me a, a, a nice amount of resistance and friction. Uh, but yes, because they're nice and smooth and rounded, uh, uh, you know, it didn't, <laughs> it really uh, agreed with the brush. So, um, yeah, this was a great, great, this was a great, great shave. I really enjoyed it. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady where you'll find all the products I review in this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.